the head of state uh, Abdul Fattah El Sisi earlier on Thursday as uh, like we said in the, earlier in our intro that uh, he inaugurated uh, mega projects in South Sinai he inaugurated um, housing units to be delivered uh, to citizens in Badr city and other parts and governorates of Egypt and of course a water salination project and uh, well, second stage of a Daba project and a, a number of uh, projects uh, uh, that were inaugurated on Thursday that was a continuation of a series of projects that are taking place throughout this year. Almost every week there is a bunch of mega projects to be inaugurated by the head of state and on this very important issue today we're very delighted to have with us live here in the studio Dr. Ibrahim Al Ghazawi, Professor of International Law. Good morning Dr. Ghazawi. Good morning. A very good morning to you sir Thank and you, sir. Uh, as Dina kindly mentioned we are going to tackle the mega projects issue. What's really amazing that uh, we watched President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, Prime Minister Engineer Sharif Ismail, and, um, and all the ministers are there to inaugurate a project which we have never heard about working on these projects except in the day of inaugurating it. Mm -hmm. people, there are people who are working just without propaganda, without all the time speaking about what they are doing. Are you with or against that? I mean, should the people know that there are a, there's a process going on to know uh, e where Egypt is going, or to work in silence is the best way in this very critical period of our modern history. Well, good morning. At, at the beginning, I would like to congratulate uh, Egyptians on this uh, uh, new uh, projects indeed. And for, for answering your question, which is a very delicate one, I have to say that historically, people were uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, bored of this continuous promises of uh, projects that were never done mm -hmm. successfully. And uh, after that, uh, the, the feeling or the sensation of depression was the outcome. Mm -hmm. That's why today I partly agree with this uh, policy of uh, this sudden inauguration because it's, it's good, good surprises for the community. Mm. Um, and be because also it reveals the, 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 uh, the essence of the, um, uh, the president's attitude of working uh, in silently, uh, quietly. Mm -hmm. uh, that gives a message that uh, propaganda is not part of his uh, tactics and he, he prefers to work in, in, in silence but he prefers uh, 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 deeds rather than words, mm -hmm. which is very good, and which also we, we uh, uh, you know, deeply need today. We need work. We don't need this propaganda. Propaganda, you know, stays propaganda from the end, from the beginning to the end. What people really need on the ground, on the street, is real achievement, accomplishments. And uh, I was so... Uh, uh, um, surprised and also happy to uh, uh, see the, the, a week ago or 10 days ago the inauguration of the first uh, phase of uh, uh, agricultural uh, land reclamation, mm -hmm. the harvest. The surprise mm -hmm. was it was a harvesting uh, day, mm -hmm. not, not start planting, but, mm -hmm. but harvesting wheat for over uh, 7,500 in, 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 in the New Valley, in yes. New Valley mm -hmm. which is really a message of hope to, uh, to Egyptians, to the young people, the young generations, that uh, you know, the, the mega projects start today to, to give its uh, positive feedback. We don't have to wait for a year or two or three, but we already start to have the harvest today. This, is, this message of hope we really need today. We really need the, 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 the hope uh, sensation to spread over all Egyptians uh, because we, we are suffering uh, in, indeed chronically from long long years of uh, continuous stagnation in our daily life uh, economics policies uh, opportunities and em employment uh, chronical challenges that were never had uh, um, enough solutions to put an end to mm -hmm. uh, this today we, we, we witness a departure from this uh, sort of policies mm -hmm. that you know keeps giving promises without real uh, changes on the ground people are fed up with that mm -hmm. and contrary today what we see is inauguration starting um, production starting mm -hmm. giving feedback positive feedback 
this is a real message, message that uh, what, what he does as president, as head of executive authority, is, uh, is um, um, practically what we need mm -hmm. as, as people, as right. community. Let me take it from Nermin's question and continue. Um, a lot of people are underestimating the role of the government, the role of the state, and in particular, the role of the military forces mm -hmm. and uh, the military engineering authority is doing a great job. They have succeeded almost throughout this year in delivering uh, uh, lots and lots of housing units mm -hmm. uh, in mega projects uh, to citizens. And uh, the late one that was inaugurated on Thursday in Badr City and in South Sinai, South Sinai is very important, the development there. Uh, in, in, I mean, in, uh, in, in fighting terrorism, also as an element of fighting terrorism, is the role of the military engineering authority. How to assess the important role the military engineering authority is playing in fighting terrorism? In a way, um, it is helping in pushing or escalating the devel developmental project in Egypt. Well, um, well, let, let me say that uh, in, in principle. Uh, what the military uh, forces engineering uh, corps mm. do today and in, 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 in what you just mentioned as pushing forward the economy uh, tempo uh, originally the job of other ministries mm. and um, probably the, the compelling necessity of our realities today makes it very logic and acceptable that the armed forces do it for many reasons. The first reason is the shape and, and the, the, the status of our ministries in, in such um, you know, applying or application of or, or enforcement of these projects mm. is not strong enough today. The administration uh, 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 circles are not efficient today to do these projects in the, in the high tempo that the president wants. Here comes the importance of the role of the military forces. Military forces are highly disciplined, are highly trained, and are hi highly also um, uh, compatible for challenges. So they know exactly the deadlines, they know the commitment, they know the devotion, they know the seriousness, they know the, the how, how to do it in, 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 in particular time. Mm -hmm. Which uh, unfortunately, I'll, and I have to admit that, and many Egyptians probably would not disagree with me, that it's not available in other ministries, to, mm -hmm. at least today. This is my coming question, yeah. so, or, or uh, this is what I really wanted to say. We cannot and we should not depend on the uh, engineering authority of for the armed forces for, for every mm -hmm. and each mega project. Exactly. And uh, how do you see also the coordination among ministries? Because President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi delivered a lot of messages during the inauguration mm -hmm. of, of, uh, of those uh, uh, projects uh, just a couple of days ago. He said that we should unite for the sake of Egypt. He said that the shanty towns or the slums uh, problem should, or crisis to be echoed should be uh, completely uh, solved within two years because this is a danger, uh, a very uh, critical danger um, uh, which is facing the society. He said also uh, that um, um, Egypt should not feel that worries, that worries or should not uh, uh, fear for Egypt's future. Mm -hmm. We need work and we need coordination and cooperation among the institutions. How to achieve this? And how to follow the armed forces' way of implementing things on the ground? Well, that's the, that's, that's the major question today. But let me tell you, the course of actions taking place today in this particular issue is very logic and acceptable. Timely. Mm -hmm. Timely, what I mean by timely, I mean uh, simply that um, Egypt today uh, is um, uh, using in the, to the fullest uh, uh, possible uh, uh, limit its power. And its power means here on top of it the military power. Uh, because we know that, as I just mentioned, that the, the shape of other ministries, uh, at the administration in Egypt, we all know that they suffer from a lot of problems and it will take some time for them to be reformed in a way that, that would be really uh, uh, give sort of you know sensation of reliance mm. that you can really depend on on, on them as as uh, fully hundred percent as a community. For this particular phase, 
while the process of uh, reforms take place on the ground, mm. the military forces, the military engineering corps are there to execute, to perform on the ground time. You mean, sir, that this should be considered as a transitional period? It should be to some extent. Uh, that's not to underestimate what the military do, or uh, the military for forces do today, but to tell that the ministers, the other ministers, should live up to, to their responsibilities as soon as possible. Um, but we have to keep in mind that uh, um, even in future, uh, hopefully that within a short time, we, we, we might have better um, performance from our different ministries. Mm -hmm. We, at this particular time, we would still also be in vital need for the military uh, engineering corps also to be in full shape. Mm -hmm. That because, because the military needs never, uh, uh, you know, never fade. You have always continuous needs for the, the military. Egypt is a very vast country geographically. Mm -hmm. If you consider uh, you have uh, nearly uh, one million square kilometers of, of, uh, of geography, of land, and the military should cover all this land, by, by typically by meaning whether by aerial forces, by land forces, or naval forces, it means that the reliance over the, the, the efficiency of the uh, armed forces, uh, engineering corps, is, is endless. So you, you need it in full shape every time. So it's always positive asset to Egypt power. Mm -hmm. Today, because we fully rely on it, and tomorrow, because even if, if we have our other uh, tools uh, ready for, for, uh, for performance the way we want, we will still be in vital need also for, for the military to be in full shape. Right. Mm -hmm. The relation between fighting terrorism and stability and retaining national security um, is very relevant to development. Mm -hmm. And it seems that the international community is taking heed at that uh, while it, they watch Egypt and every week or every um, um, month uh, inaugurating mega projects by the head of state and you know in silence things that would take five years would take only one year and Egypt was uh, chosen unanimously to have uh, the, the United Nations Security Council uh, 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 fighting terrorism uh, fighting terrorism committee and uh, Foreign Minister Sam Shokri uh, had a session earlier and he came back to Egypt among the statement that he delivered there in the um, uh, security at the Security Council, he said that fighting terrorism isn't doesn't take its course in the you known the stereotype of fighting ideologies or religions or all that, but it's through development, through uh, providing job opportunities, through awareness, through uh, developing with education, with uh, health files. You know, he focused on that particularly. So, how do you see that important in fighting terrorism? Not only for, I mean, uh, developing with economy, but also through, we should, um, I mean, develop with economy to fight terrorism also. Do you agree with that? Yes, to, to, um, to the, the fullest uh, possible extent, I do agree. Actually, um, uh, we have to understand that uh, to encounter terrorism as, as, as a universal phenomenon, mm. um, you have always two, two um, uh, trajectories. One deal with, with it in terms of security and military reaction needed immediately, and this one is inevitable, and we cannot uh, um, uh, we cannot um, you know relax about it or feel re relaxed about it. We have to be very strong in terms of security, in terms of military forces, our uh, powerful physical uh, readiness to react against terrorism attacks. This is a must. But the other. Um, more sustainable side of encountering terrorism is development. Mm. And development covering not only economy, but on top mm. of it comes the economic development. Mm. Of why, why economic development comes on top of it? Because the creation of employment, of opportunities, the, uh, the um, creation of hopes for, for, small, for young and, and little generations, and the creation of hopes for different sectors of the community, this is the first remedy of, of, uh, of crimes and terrorism, as a crime also. Uh, and because of this, the simple citizen is to uh, uh, always asks, when I am going to feel 
uh, or to have uh, the tangible results of those mega projects on my daily life routine. I mean, with the, the US dollar crisis, with the hiking prices, with the black market, with the coming uh, a holy month of Ramadan and all the procedures taken by the government to try to facilitate uh, or to provide the Egyptian citizens with the, the basic commodities. Mm -hmm. How to answer this question? Well, the answer is, is, um, is real commitment for the government, actually, to go in, in two parallel lines of mm -hmm. actions. One is the long-term projects, the mega projects that take place today, uh, while most of these projects will give term, uh, a term out probably within two or three years. Mm -hmm. Uh, but still, the, the, as you just mentioned, the individuals, the normal individual in the street, in vital need for um, uh, touching the outcomes today, not mm -hmm. tomorrow. As, uh, of course, we have some you know, uh, variables on, on the street about the, rise, the, the rising prices, uh, the sizzling prices, I would say, mm -hmm. and um, uh, the, the wages and, and salaries are not coming up on, on the, the same tempo of, of uh, rising prices, uh, so we have real suffering for the uh, uh, the, the, the normal uh, citizens in the street. The government must uh, start immediately implementing the other projects that were declared uh, uh, recently from the president. On top of them comes the project of uh, uh, a small um, um, microfinance project uh, 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 that was announced by the president mm -hmm. that would give young people. This is one instance. It's not all, but I mean, just when it came to my mind, this, this project, which is not a small one, it's very big. If it gives the, the, the young uh, people, uh, young generation, uh, uh, unemployed uh, youth, uh, uh, a small amount of money to start their own projects without this uh, hectic, uh, complicated procedures usually associated with working with the government. Mm -hmm. This would give a take off, a small stick off point mm -hmm. for, for small projects. Small financing is, is universally accepted and well known technique of changing quickly mm -hmm. the, the, the contours of economies. Mm -hmm. And we cannot neglect that. We have to start that immediately. Quick money circle. Yes quick money circle mm -hmm. because it, it gives a very immediate feedback yes so it gives immediate also satisfaction not only to the the, the, the those the who own the project but the other circles who deal with it because you, you, I mean if, if the young man start a project uh, with 10 or 15 or 20 uh, thousand Egyptian pound he is not working alone he will employ some other uh, uh, stuff with him and he would deal with probably at least 10 or 15 other circles of commercial, you know, uh, mutual treatment. Mm -hmm. So it means you are, you know, uh, uh, like um, empowering the whole economy while you are doing this. So you are not just uh, making a compliment or, or just giving uh, endowments to, to a young man. You are creating new economy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have to remember the, 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 the experience of, of Bangladesh, uh, Dr. Mm -hmm. Muhammad Yunus, who mm -hmm. created the greatest uh, uh, popular bank in the world, starting from very small, tiny yeah. idea mm -hmm. of giving small, very tiny loans to the young women in the street who were uh, uh, making bamboo chairs and, and, yeah. and, then, and then starting from this small idea, today they have the greatest uh, popular bank, bank in yes. the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So th 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 it's not magic. Mm -hmm. It could be very, very practical very soon, but the government, as we just said, previously in the meeting, the tempo of performance of some ministers are not up to the aspirations of the president nor the normal people on the street. And we yes. have to, to, to um, take note of that and we have to compel and urge these ministries to, uh, to knock at these doors mm -hmm. because you know, it has been neglected for a long time, small right. projects. Dr. Ibrahim Razzawi, Professor of International Relations, would like to thank you very much for coming over to the breakfast show. And thank you have you a so good much. day. Thank you so much. And uh, I guess now it's a short break and we'll come back to you. You'll stay with us.